What's up, guys? You are welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this wonderful channel from. This is John Gillis Entertainment. Here we'll give you all the support, the trends and happenings, not just in Nigeria but globally. If you are new here, be kind enough to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so as to be five wherever we come from. Public trends. Well, let us start with this news. Did you know that three U.S. presidents have won Grammys? We have Jimmy Carter on the list. We have Barack Obama and Bill Clinton. That they all won the best audiobook narration and storytelling category. Qatar has even won a total of three times, three Grammy Awards, and Barack Obama won twice. That is a huge one. Well, since we, uh, uh, you know, started this news from the United States of America, let us go into what's trending in America because we know so many things have been happening in Nigeria. And what is really happening, what is trending right now in Nigeria is the politics. We just ended the presidential election and we are waiting for the gubernatorial election. But let us come down from the United States to Nigeria. Still in the United States, the entertainment industry, we have this news that Future overtook Jay-Z as the fifth most successful rapper in Billboard history. Big ups and kudos to Future, you know. Well, let us dive a little into movies in the United States of America, Hollywood. These guys are doing very well. By the way, have you seen this movie, Creed 3? Creed, we have part 1, part 2. Personally, I've seen part 1 and 2 and I'm waiting and anticipating for the part 3. Though it's been dropped, it's been released on um, the cinema, but I haven't really had time to go to the cinemas to uh, watch a movie. And we have this good news that Afrobeat present a track list Creed 3, the soundtrack. From the soundtrack, we have this song that was performed by our very own Ayasta, Ogogoro. <laughs> I just like the name of the song anyway, Ogogoro. Hmm. B-A-S and Ayasta, Ogogoro. <laughs> by the way, have you seen that movie? What do you have to say? Can you analyze the movie? Is it better than Creed 1 and 2? Yeah or nay? Please, the comment section is open for you. Well, see, talking that. about movies, we have this good news about John Wick Chapter 4, though it has not been released. We are still anticipating it. We are still expecting it. We've seen John Wick 1, 2, 3. I've seen John Wick 1, 2, 3. I love the movie because it's action packed. We have this news that critics have who have seen John Wick 4 say it's one of the greatest action movies ever made. Not just this year or last year, but ever made. That's a huge one. The critics are going absolutely wide over John Wick 4. Those lucky enough to have seen the fourth installment of the incredible action franchise say it's nothing short of epic and has been well worth the four-year wait. We'll be waiting for this movie for the past four years. And Keanu Reeves has already found out that Chapter 4 was one of the hardest films he has ever had to make and it seems like this definitely translates on screen. We have also been told the upcoming film will be the longest in the John Wick franchise at 2 hours and 49 minutes. Judging from what critics have posted on Twitter, it looks like we are in for a wild ride. Yeah. We are in for a wide ride indeed. I personally, I can't wait for that movie. I've seen one, two, three, four. So we are eagerly expecting John Wick chapter four. And according to reports, it's going to be a late one. Well, still in the entertainment industry, we have this news. You know, Ken West has been going through a lot recently. I mean, he has been going through a lot since 2021. It hasn't been rosy for Ken West. He had issues with his... Um, his wife came to Kadesha and shortly after that he told us he was a billionaire and all of a sudden was not having issues because of um, his uh, comments about the Jews uh, people and he even went as far putting on a white shirt, the, uh, a white life matter shirt and be facing so many criticism on the uh, on the entertainment industry award. We have this news that Adidas is projecting a $738 million total loss in 2023, making it first annual loss in 30 years. Wow. That is terrible indeed. The Adidas faces its final annual loss in over 30 years following a split with K West Yeezy brand, resulting in a colossal financial loss related to the end of the partnership. Well, let us come back to our beloved continent, Africa. We have this bad news. Bad news indeed. It just happened in uh, South Africa. We are still trying to heal from the pains. You know, from the bad news we got from um, South Africa about one of the hottest rappers, aka who was shot dead. We have this news that popular South African and a piano artist 
Kostatish has sadly passed away after collapsing on stage. I saw this video and it was like terrible. The guy was performing, you know, he's very energetic. I'm a huge fan. I follow him on IG. I love his videos. I mean, his, his dance moves, the way he raps, the way he merges raps with his dance steps, it's very lit. Man, when I saw this, I, I was really touched. According to news that the 27 year old reportedly had a seizure and collapse on stage while performing at the Ultra Music Concert at Expo Center in Nasrek, Johannesburg, on, on Saturday, 11th March 2022. Costa had shared a poster on his IG page advertising the event just 11 hours before his uh, demise. Uh, Costa entered the entertainment industry as a dancer, but over time he transformed and became a rapper and singer. And recently, he got signed to Akon's music label. That is too sad. As I said, that's it trying to hear from the wounds, you know, um, or, or from from the bad news we got about one of the hottest rappers in South Africa, AK. And they were friends. They were doing stuff together. We 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 saw this online video trending of Costa uh, Tish and and AK, you know, having a good time. What's really happening in South Africa? I uh, see talking about AKA after his uh, demise, his album was released recently and it's been certified gold in South Africa. Terrible, terrible indeed. Well, let us come back home to our beloved country, Nigeria. Let us talk about longest staying number one on Apple this decade for the past 10 years. From the, the good news is that Whiskey FC are cashing for right now that. Whiskey the record looks unbreakable hmm, or unbeatable. According to this list, you can see that 17 weeks made in Lagos by Whiskey Die has lasted 17 weeks on on uh, on on the charts. And also we have Get Laid by Omale, it has lasted it 11 weeks, and more loveless ego by Whiskey again, eight weeks, twice as tall by Bonner Boy, six weeks. The Banner Ball by Kiss Daniel, six weeks. Love Damini by Bonner Boy again, six weeks. MM WTV by Asake Music, six weeks. A Better Time by David, four weeks. BOTB by o o Official Chike, four weeks. Wow. Do you think Whiskey's record can be broken? <laughs> comment section is open for you to drop a comment. Well, I saw this quite fascinating. Let me share it with you guys. The Wish. Party are you going to, to vote for? You know the election has been changed in Nigeria and Labour Party just came from nowhere and surprised everybody. They are doing very well. From this list, you can see that which party are you going to vote for? You can imagine yeah, from what you can see that Whiskey for president and Joe Boy for vice president. That is APC. And uh for PDP, we have Bonaboy for president and Fireboy DML for vice president and Labour Party, which is trending right now in Nigeria. Davido for president and Rema for vice president. So which of these parties will you be voting for? <laughs> when I saw this, Whiskey's FC, I mean, they were not cool. They were not asking questions that what is happening, that why should they put Whiskey in uh, in APC, that Whiskey should be a Labour Party. <laughs> Nigerians. Whiskey FC. <laughs> Don't joke with those guys. See, in the entertainment industry, we have this good news that Bonner Boy backed his second platinum certification in the U.S. for last, last. Congratulations to the Odogu said We know he was nominated for the Grammy and he didn't win the award. Two categories and Bonner Boy didn't win it. Bonner Boy fans were not happy. Well, Bonner Boy should keep pushing. Maybe he will get to win the next one. Well... Still, uh, let us come back home fully to you know Nigeria because our musicians have been doing very well selling our Nigeria on on the warm map. We got this news from the Princess of Africa that I think it's time I travel back for my surgery by importing womb. Hmm. I have a house, a car. I need to be the mother of my own child next. We heard it from the Princess of Africa. Please, those that. Our fans or the like princess of Africa, please drop your comments Talking about comments our country, Nigeria. We have this bad news too. That be prepared for massive flooding in 2023. Nema tells Nigerians. We can't forget the drama that happened in 2022. 
and the Nema is telling us that we should prepare for massive flooding in 2023. The drama that happened in 2022 20, regarding the uh, flooding. You know, we, we saw terrible videos of houses submerged in water, businesses, you know, goods washed, billions of Naira uh, destroyed by the flood that happened in Kogi, Anambra, so many states in um, Nigeria. And from the look of things and from the message we got from Nema, that 2023 will be worse than 2022. What is the way forward for us? Oh, it's terrible indeed. Well, today is Sunday and election is trending in Nigeria. For a desk of a clergyman, he dropped this message. That there is something I don't get. When things are bad in the nation, they call out pastors for being quiet. When pastors speak or speak, they say, why are they being factional? I want to ask a honest question. As a pastor, can't I have a preferred candidate? For me and my family, that came from the desk of Pastor Pastor Johnson Suleiman. He also went further to say, "I am asking because my family members in Lagos are asking me who they should vote for. If I say they should all vote at GRV Lagos, people will say I have started again. That as a pastor, I should support everyone. So I won't say anything." <laughs> I say, I see so many leaders going about begging for votes. This is what they should naturally never do. God bless you, Nigerian youth, for changing the narratives. The youth I am talking about know themselves, not those still endorsing leaders that put us in this current mess. Hmm. Well, Nigeria is a current, is in very terrible mess right now. We fed it from the desk of Apostle Suleiman. We really need to vote wisely. I just posted a video recently of some ladies in uh, Ikorodu protesting, shouting that the APC government pro promised their money uh, to vote for them in the presidential election. And up to date, they have not gotten the alert. And that if the APC doesn't pay them, they won't vote for APC in the next gubernatorial election. When I saw that, I was like, does it really make sense? You know, that they are ready to sell their votes for how much? Even if the uh, government is not giving a vibe or what they expected from the government, they don't mind. The only is pay us our money, we'll vote for you. How much is it? Even if it is 100,000 naira, what can 100,000 naira buy for you? Just to check out you know, my last video, I saw that I was really touched. What can 100,000 naira buy? Even if it's 1 million naira, can, you, can 1 million naira carry you for the next four or, or, or eight years? Ah, terrible indeed. Well, the comments are just like, open for you to upload hot nutrients. See you guys later.